let's switch it up to the next. Let's see, we got Gi footage from everybody's favorite date this year, uh, February February twenty second to twenty two twenty two. Switch it over. Steven and Caleb. Agreed, Joe. Yeah, I think his only loss that day came, uh, it came by points, and I know he said that he was dog tired by that match that was the match he ended up taking uh or that put him in third place contention for absolute i believe so we got bronze and absolute he got gold and everything else he was in so definitely. including beating a black belt oh yeah yeah didn't he he beat one on uh on points in, in absolute or something in the absolute yep love to see it so can we go back to Caleb's reversal real quick? Yeah. I know we... Oh, see, so you start sweet-talking Steven, distracting him, and then he goes for it. Gets up. Okay. okay. And you and me are just doing our usual fight. <laughs> <laughs> Doing everything I can to not let you get my hips over top of yours, and that's—I think I was looking to work. Yeah, uh, maybe I'm just trying to stay safe. I was gonna say I think I was looking to work that like inside leg extension that we've been toying around with. Mm -hmm. Caleb is on the arm bar. Or not. Maybe not. No. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. He slipped right out. And Steven just trying to find his way. I was gonna try to do the the uh, Leo, the roll Leo roll to you, yeah. <clears throat> Opted for a power half here, maybe. Mm -hmm. I know somewhere on this on this footage we have that uh, almost bow and arrow that I had you in. Right here, it's right here. Is this what it was? Yeah, because I think I was... Oh, when you reach out and around for the leg. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll reach, I think, maybe I, my left hand. I thought it happened over by the pillar. It did. You're right. You're right. So it's got to it's, it's be coming up at some point. Yeah, we're still doing eight-minute rounds here. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sweet talking with mouth guards is lisp talking. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Very much so. You're doing a really good job shutting down any sort of sweeps that I had with uh, by keeping my knee and my, my foot lower than your knee. <clears throat> You're very aware of doing that right there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, my only problem with that, though, is in order for me to do that, I've got to keep my weight back, and yep. that just means I'm not advancing, right?
right? Like I need yep. to, I need to counter that in a more offensive way, I believe. I was gonna try to wrestle up. I'm just like, oh, maybe I did. In my mind, I, I, I feel like I've been so bad at that this week. Fishing for the inside position, trying to take your knees, point them away. Here we go. This is. Yeah, I believe this is what happens. had but I didn't I just didn't have your hips here so I I was, I was pulling with everything I had on that collar and as yep. much as I could on the pants with my left hand um, but the inability to control your hips I think was the real failure point in that variation yeah that was the only thing that I knew at at some point after I was being strangled i was like i just have to circle around this way <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was hoping the pants grip would would shut down your mobility enough but it just doesn't mm -hmm. yeah i didn't have an advantageous angle on you tight to my chest and prevent your hooks from entering. And even right here, I think like for maybe some of the beginners watching, like I'm I'm fairly comfortable when I know that hooks are going to be in play and I don't know. It, it's hard to say because I like I can't put myself in the position I was mentally during this role, but I knew that your legs, or I had a feeling at least that your legs would be more easily fought. Like you weren't throwing a body triangle on me, so it's like, all right, right, if you do get on my back, I'm probably gonna have hooks to contend with, and I feel comfortable shutting those down. But that's, I mean, just coming from experience, right? I wouldn't necessarily advise anybody to uh, to practice that until they're ready for it. Yeah, so I thought I had Jack going in a certain direction, and I went to go for a Taitoshi here, yeah. and he just did exactly the opposite of what I thought he was going to do. So I wound up pulling guard. Pulling guard is so lame. Good time for Jack to cut hard in the other direction. Mm -hmm. All right, as he's coming up through here, he gets this scoop grip on the leg right there. He yep. should be cutting hard in the other direction to uh, work that pass. Well, I honestly cannot remember what I did from here. Well, it looks like you had you had an underhook on his arm. 
Mm -hmm. So. Oh, if, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think originally I was going to go for the triangle. Obviously, it was there. But then when he started going that way, I was going to uh, try to do the Hantai in the wrong way triangle. No luck on that one. But he had the arm that he left behind, so I just went for the straight arm lock. I've been having a lot more luck with the, the Hantai Senkaku lately, which has been nice. Because yeah. that, like, it seems like such a difficult move when we back when we first learned it and like mm -hmm. getting getting the hip position um that you need was like i i was watching it when i was you know taking my my uh injury break mm -hmm. and i just i noticed gordon ryan like i think it was gordon shifting his hips out as he was setting it up and i was like that's what i haven't been doing the whole time and it mm -hmm. just shut down the entire move for me start scrolling a bit more through these all right you're working like a knee lever here yep i can't remember if i got that or if i just wound up coming up to take the back i think i took the back i was trying to do the knee lever on him but i he actually um i couldn't tell whether i was just not low enough on the leg or what but i wound up just coming up to take that back to take the back But I was, I remember having a hard time getting that. Yeah. Let's go back and see that setup. So you sneak your bottom leg in first. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, he kind of, it looked like he took his hips off the ground, which made it mm -hmm. like right here as he pushes see as he yeah as he heists up yep. that's a that's the time to get that knee underneath and i think i finish with the bow and arrow here we're just playing with grips yep good stuff it wasn't the tightest grip i had I was gonna throw the leg over. You see that I, I dropped my right leg down. I was ready to hike it up if I needed to, but he tapped. So that's um. What we like... were talking about yesterday. Yeah. So talk. Yeah. Talk through what you're doing here. Yeah. So <clears throat> when I have a my left hand goes goes to his hip, and my right hand gets to his knee, and I'm trying to get my what I wasn't doing well here, but what I need to work on next is almost sprawling out a little bit further so that he can't catch my left leg with his with his legs. And then all I'm doing is I'll make the grip change. Uh, my head is below his knee. So I'm trying to keep my head, my forehead below his knee so that he can't pummel his right leg in um, to regard. So I've made this switch here. My right hand is going to the leg. So you're talking pushing on the knee. Yes, right that knee is the one. And all I'm doing is shuffling over, and you can see his hips turning as I shuffle. And then now I can come down and secure into the guard pass. And that was just straight out of the Danaher instructional. Um, and it seemed to be working the few times that I've been playing with it. Um, obviously need to shore it up some more, but good reaction from him there. Yeah, came up on the leg. Fix, or I was gonna be able to take the back with the arm trapped. So, into a rear triangle. 
I just did it from a top lock. Um, I think he was tapping early, but oh, yeah, I felt well, like it was pretty. Yeah, there was probably a good bit like of pretty... good bit of torque on his shoulder there. been focusing so much on his passing game yeah that i mean you you obviously can tell coming back right oh yeah yeah i've been listening to you guys talk about how miserable his uh his top side control is for months and it is and it is yeah. can confirm i'm gonna fast forward because a lot of this is him inside control and me having a the damnedest time trying to escape with one elbow but we'll go we'll Go to the parts where he did some good stuff on me. Pretty sure he almost he almost got like a straight arm on me uh, in this roll. Oh, right. Here's the other thing too. Um, this is what he wanted us to talk about. So, okay. um, the 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 use of our legs in uh, doing the pendulum uh, to kind of get up to turtle, right? So I've gone I've gone <clears throat> from side control into turtle now. That wasn't a good example of it. Um, I know I did a lot of it in this role, or at least I was trying. Look at that illegal grip he has on my leg. That's why he was winning. <laughs> let's, um, let's see. Go to some more spots where it's normally when he's attempting, like when he's going to north-south or something, it's typically when I'll do that. <laughs> I think this was where... Uh, I was I was laughing at him because I elbow escaped without really the use of yeah, my elbow. That's right. <laughs> it was either that one or on. I mean, it would make more sense if it was on the other side, but the no elbow elbow escape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can't you could hardly probably push with that. Yeah, you know, here what I would like to do is either get like a kind of a V frame in the armpit and create a bit more mm -hmm. space. I'm on the wrong side. Like, if I had, you know, since I trapped his his left leg, I would have liked to have been at his left side as opposed to him having this, like, cross pressure on me. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, right here. So he starts isolating my arm. That's a shame we don't have this at a better angle. Because um, he, he had me in a lot of trouble here. And again, I, I don't recommend getting to this position um, and fighting through it as close to a, a submission as I was. Um, I just, I know, I knew when I had to tap, I was absolutely ready to tap. Um, he was working the straight arm lock. I think we may have done it in class that day or maybe the day before in no gi. Um, but really all I'm doing is just straightening my arm out, twisting here and there, trying to disrupt his grip. And I eventually get my arm free and pull my elbow back in much to his chagrin. Keep going. Uh, hang on. Uh, no, okay. You didn't. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, so right... Right here, it's... I don't know. Maybe that wasn't a good one. I know I did it a bit in our role because he was, he was asking a lot about it. There it is. There was something. Uh, that may have just been... Uh, yeah... He had complete control over my hips, so I didn't go anywhere with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So we could, I guess we could focus on, on this just because I'm at least doing the motion, right? So like, mm -hmm. eh, that looks so pathetic. Um, yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. Like, <laughs> it's like uh it's pointless i don't know we'll yeah. we'll find a spot and highlight that 
Because I'd rather I'd rather demonstrate or like be able to talk through a decent demonstration of it than stumble over my words trying to explain something that isn't happening on screen. Same here. We'll give Steven his dues because I know he pretty sure he subbed me and got some good stuff on me here. Nice back take. Yeah, yeah. I think I was pretty content to fight from here for a little bit. So I wasn't, you know, I knew I knew where his legs were. He didn't have uh, too much control over my hips. Oh, no, that's what it was. He, I think we started this role, and I was like, I'm taking it kind of easy. And he's like, Yeah, me too. And then he to like tries to set up a twister on me. <laughs> like, yeah. Or like some yeah. sort of spinal lock. And I'm like, thanks, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what we're laughing about there. Good control over the uh, the leg there. I don't know if you caught yeah. that. So his his left leg is is doing really well to prevent me from stepping back in my in the other direction and retracing my steps. And it's it's pressuring me back to expose my back further and allow him to get the back take. Right? He's already snuck both mm -hmm. legs in behind. That was good. Yeah. So the knee bar isn't there. It would be because both of his legs were behind you. Yeah, um, I almost, it looked like I was trying to set up for it, right? Because I had that like scooped grip on his Achilles there, but I couldn't, I couldn't cut the angle. Yeah, like you said, it's happening so quickly. So like right here, if I was to sit through on that, I would need this leg in front of me instead of behind me, right? That's, that's what you were getting at? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, slap him. Keep an eye on you and uh, Caleb here. I don't want to miss anything if something good happened. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm coming around to take the back. I don't know if I actually secure it or not. And it looks like you have a, a strangle, like a... Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. At least a threat of one. Let's look at Steven's guard pass here. So he starts with a double under. Mm -hmm. Keeping your knees pointed away and together. Yes, yeah, he's really tight Good. on the legs. And I know we talked about that a few weeks ago. He told me he had been he'd been working on slowing down that pass because he was he was yep. leaving too much space as he tried to like quickly ascend. Yep up to the shoulders didn't work this time sucker Sure, he straight ankles me at some point in this role. He's got a 
Delahiva, yeah, Delahiva hook. Now he's going. Again, you're keeping his knee down nice and low. Yeah, just with hip pressure. But yeah, it's just it's pretty ineffective right now. Like Steven Scarter potential is super good. Yeah, you you got the leg and you fell back on the leg. Yeah. I think he, he was trying to right here he started or he tried to set up a calf slice around me mm -hmm. but this was all just just rolling um, nothing too fancy and then here he I tried to break his shin with my cup yeah because he got his knee out Here's, I was gonna try to work some like some of the lighter like leg pummeling passing, mm -hmm. but did not get to. <clears throat> shoulders to the mat here really really simple back escapes like nothing nothing too fancy if, if you don't have control over my you know if you don't have a solid seat belt grip in I guess that straight ankle lock was on Monday um, yeah if you don't have control over the head and shoulders I'm just gonna do everything I can to beat my shoulders to the mat or beat that cartwheel fast yeah, yeah whatever dude <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think it worked we're gonna find it now. <laughs> I forgot where it had. It, uh, it was like somewhere up here. Cause I, I think I ended up following it and got my knee in. This is right there. Yeah. So I just I get to my side guard, scooting, scooting. See, I, you still haven't passed my guard yet, right? And then, then I got up to there. But either way. You had me scrambling, that is for damn sure. Looks like you were working some of that passing. Trying, yeah. yeah. And then cutting back the other way. He's been doing a really good job of throwing up the trap triangle lately. So his regarding has been very dangerous. I got a triangle on him during training on Saturday that I'm definitely going to isolate and then just cut it into our uh, Monday review. <laughs> Just because.
think I'm going for the double unders pass here. Yeah. Steven, do you still try to hit that no arm triangle? Like the no arm in triangle or like the TP choke? Do you still find yourself going for that? On blue belts and above. Because it looked like... I think he, he tried it on... He tried it on you. It, on I thought... Saturday. I think he was going for it, but it was very short-lived. And then right now, it looked like he was trying it on you. Yeah. Only to Only. confuse people. So the way that I finished that pass was... was <clears throat> I don't normally do that, but I, I guess I thought it was a viable option at the time. But... Like I knew Steven wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna commit to one side or the other. He was gonna take, you know, me pressing his nose with his, his knees. So I actually grabbed his jacket and I pull him and heist him up. Mm. And then I used the tight waist to return him back to the mat. That was interesting. I don't normally do that, but I, I noticed it when just watching it. And Steven, I don't know if, so here, can you pause it for a second? I can't remember if it was you Oh, yeah, I think we were talking during this match. You were asking me what I'm doing with my right hand. So, whenever I'm holding somebody, uh, in, in this case, I have my left arm over top of Steven's shoulder. So, I'm in, basically, my left arm um, is going to be hugging his, his uh, shoulder. So, my elbow is at his head, and my hand is down by his elbow. My right hand, in this case, <clears throat> is down on mat and I hold it flat I don't know why I hold it flat the only the only reason I feel like I hold it flat is because it creates a, a very natural wedge for me um, so that way if Steven wants to you know follow me with his hips he literally just runs right into my forearm right like he just walks right up my hand and then uh, onto my forearm and what I like about this is it gives me every opportunity to transition fully into north-south at any given time um, in the event that he tries to get his hips out and away from me. Um, and so here I'm, got, I'm kind of gauging. If he starts coming into me, then I have, you know, Kimura set up like that, right? See how I'm transitioning over, mm -hmm. depending on the way that he's putting his, the, the way that he's shifting his body. Right. Um, so I don't know if, if that explains anything, Stephen, based off of what we were talking about, but that's that's what I do with the positioning of my hands for the north-south and side control transitions. Were you guys live oh. right now? What's that? Yeah, we were live. Okay, because it looked like you started talking at some point. Yeah, I did. When I tapped my hand on the mat, yeah. I was, he was, because he stopped me and he asked me, I think he was like, hey, what are you doing with that hand? Why can't, I, I can't remember if it was, I can't move my, my hips or, or what. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And another thing that I'm doing too is I keep my head pressured onto the far hip when I do that too. So it makes it more difficult for him to scoot his hips out. I'm trying to find a spot where you're doing that. Here, yeah. So you switch, yeah. Yep. And see how my head is down towards his hip, right? It, it, even towards the mat. It's like outside I'm of his hip. It's not over it. Right. Yeah, and again, I won't I won't verbalize this too much. I could talk about it with Caleb at class, but that's where like, you know, you've done so much immobilizing the hip that that you know, getting your getting your feet together and hitting that that leg pendulum that kind of C to flat back to the other side. The whole purpose of that isn't 
it's not actually so much to move your hips as it is I mean it works to move your hips but it's it also works really well to go from you know hips up to hips down right to get to your knees easily when you can't just necessarily plant a foot and turn yourself right you're actually just using this huge uh, amount of momentum with with your legs close together that helps you get your hips pointed in the direction you want to go get your knees pointed into the direction you want to go all things that you mike are doing here to shut down on steven which is why your your north south transitions on me that's my answer to it you know it's right, right it's pointing getting my knees pointed to the mat getting my hips pointed to the mat and typically in, in a best case getting to reach up capture your ankle and and work in on a single leg or something from there yeah I have, so i guess we are go just, ahead we're not we're not going live i think uh yeah just i think we're walking through some things yeah cool well that wraps that up then cool um all right good stuff today um again mitch really really good job at the competition man that was that was impressive it was it was really cool to see uh some of the bs you pull on us at class get get uh get performed in in one of your live matches so always makes us happy as coaches to see that yep um yeah Looks like you were the only one who submitted anybody today that I cared to uh, record. <laughs> um, all right. Well, yeah, we will uh, see. We got class Nogi tomorrow. We'll have the camera up so you guys do all your cool, fun stuff, and we'll go over it on Wednesday. Looks like we are closing in on our follower goal. We just need four more to get to the coveted 50 follower spot. Help put us over the top, try to get to affiliate status. Um, so thank you guys for the support. We really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Yeah, if you want to support us any further, you can at coffee.com slash M-O-B-J-J. Um, keep tuning in. Yeah, you guys are very welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we probably don't say it enough, but you guys have given us a lot of compliments since we started this stream over how much it's helped you guys. So it means a lot to us. We, uh, we really enjoy um, giving you guys feedback. It helps us become better coaches. Uh, as well so it's uh the whole the whole squad is uh is contributing to this um this will be up on youtube you could subscribe over there as well um and other than that we'll see you guys at class yeah bring your questions to class anything that you see on the stream anything outside of the stream whatever um hit us up on the mats right and we'll uh we'll walk you through anything that we can and I've, I've never meant this more in my life. Trim your fingernails. Do your laundry. And don't be stinky. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys at class. Later. Take it easy. <laughs>